Hello everybody, my name is Drew and welcome back to Sky Factory 3. Uh, I'm hanging out in our little basement and uh, ready to show you what I'm working on between episodes. I, I got it up and running. I, we now have a refined storage system that functions. This is good news for us. I've been working non-stop on this to make sure everything is going to do what I want it to do. So, well, there's been a number number of upgrades. Let, let's start here. Let's start here. So if you, if you remember last episode, we, we took our first dip into refined storage and put down a controller as well as a solderer. This solderer is a point of fact. And if you remember, this is the guy that makes our different processors. However, it's also kind of slow. So I figured out that there are speed upgrades. Excuse me. There are speed upgrades. And they are not that hard to make. They they needed, I believe we just needed some upgrade slots, redstone, and sugar. So they were very, very easy to make. I made eight of them. Four for this machine, four for the others, so that it functions at peak speed. Which is important, because we don't want to waste too much time waiting for, for processors to be cooked. Uh, I made two drive slots. We were only, we're only using three drives right now. Which, as you can see, they're both, uh, they're all three or 16K. This means that we have a total of 48K worth of storage with 1.7k being used like it's it's we have a lot of storage <laughs> this is uh this is going to be great uh i did a few things though um let's continue on with the refined storage talk i added this guy the external storage uh which is a way to interface refined storage with other storage systems so in this case what i did was i interfaced it with our drawer uh, i can't speak our drawer controller because that acts more or less like the the refined storage controller just for drawers, as we well know. This means that if we go upstairs here, we can see the contents of those drawers. In fact, we can see them in equal amounts, which is fantastic. I don't even have to worry about converting that box. It's Schrodinger's storage box. It is simultaneously the larger chunks and the smaller chunks. Like, I don't know how it pulls it off as well as it does, but God damn it. It, it does the job well. I love the way this works. It's a fantastic system. Um, what else have I got to share with you? Nothing on this end, I suppose. Um, let's see. Oh, I, I, a little bit of basic automation, just putting a, a, a hopper onto this guy so that we can smelt more things at once. It's, it's inefficient, but it does get the job done. Lets you like just batch smelt things. So that's, that's good. That's a that's a very good thing to actually you know have the option to do, but let's talk about uh, let's talk about what's going on down here. This has been changed out for uh, item ducts or item conduits rather. So rather than having the item uh, the transfer nodes and everything, I switch it all switch it all for this. Way I think way faster. We've already got some speed upgrades in them. Uh, just kind of evenly spread because we don't really have a lot of sugar, right? But it does get the job done. It keeps everything full up. These are all full of stone and lava and all that kind of stuff. Very, very, very good. I added more power down here because we needed a bigger buffer. For some reason, some of these were not getting power. Particularly just a few of them in here. So I went ahead. These have their own dedicated power line uh, from the energy. These are the Ender Energy Conduits. They transfer a max of 20,480 RF. We don't need that much right now, but it, it allowed for a direct pipe and helps keep everything running. And it was very, I, I, my guess would be that while we weren't running into negative, like we had a net zero on our energy system, the issue that was that we were saturating, I keep yawning, uh, we were saturating these lines because they only can transfer 5,120 RF per tick. And these together with their upgrades as they stand, even though there's not many upgrades, it just was not working. Oh, now, why are you not doing anything now? Because you were set to never active. That would be why. It's every once in a while I find out one of these was not properly done. I would have swore that I did everything when I built this. My guess is that uh, I, I did not thoroughly check the way I thought I did. But let's take some of this sand out of here. I don't mind having a bit of backlog that I can see. I, like, how d does none of this activate? Because I would swear that I activated literally all of this, but clearly, clearly I did not. So maybe this will solve our problem of not having enough sand in our system. Like, that looks okay. That's fine. 
We're we're re we're reaching the weirdest bottlenecks though. Cause this produces enough, but not fast enough totally. So like I really need to upgrade everything to run off of extra capacity, like the double layer or octatic capacitors. Uh, I don't know. We'll we'll figure that out as we go. What that power requirement's going to be. Uh, I did upgrade all of our cobblestone generators to tier three. These are the diamond ones. So we're cobblestone generation isn't the issue anymore because we were actually running low on cobblestone, but with the improved pipes and these guys were were pretty good. We're we're the very least we're neutral. So I'm happy with that. Other than that, I don't think there is any other upgrades. As you can tell, there's still a little bit of lag. Changing some things around did help. I do have some plans for, for resource gathering in the future that might make it very lag free. What I'm going to do is instead of having these full systems like this, what I will have is everything will be networked to our refined storage system using import and export buses. So I can have way more of each one, like say uh, 16. Say we have 16 of each one. So we've got 16 making gravel, 16 making sand, 16 making whatever. But rather than having them in this double configuration with pipes fucking going everywhere and all that crap. No, 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 no. What we will have, it's going to be as simple as I can possibly make it. Um, I'm, I, it's going to be weird trying to interface everything. So I might have to build them in smaller little pods that I, I don't know I'll figure out how I can build them and make everything make sense it's going to be the fact that we don't have uh, conduits that are one block thick that match with our ender items or ender IO conduits now so that's kind of problematic because before I could just network everything all in one big clump right but I'm gonna have to get a little bit crafty with my with my work to the, this time around that's okay but that should mean that we can literally skip this process here and instead just have more stuff making surplus of, of sand or gravel or whatever and it's all going to go into refined storage and out of refined storage so it's really the items will will not be moving in pipes anywhere because with refined storage once it's in the system it's in it's instantaneous um, so yeah that's that's what I'm thinking so instead of having all this laggy bullshit that's across the uh, across different uh, chunk boundaries and crap, we're, we're going to try and condense this down and have one thing per chunk, and that should, should, because nothing will be crossing boundaries, it should make a difference, uh, we're going to find out. But what we're here to do today, a couple things, because we have no automated farms. Uh, we need a tree farm, desperately. We also need to automate our main farms, desperately. And we could use with some animals, but let's focus on what we really want to do, which is make a badass tree farm. And we're going to be using Steve's carts, like I said a long time ago. Let's go ahead and have... Oh, it's going to be so much better to build resources at our fingertips. So we wanted... Oh, well, I should show you what the, how this works, I guess, because we haven't really looked at this yet. So this is your crafting terminal. There are three... Four different terminals? Three different terminals? Doesn't matter. There's several different uh, uh, terminals um, or grids, rather. They call them grids in this. Uh, this is the crafting grid. There's a regular grid that can just view items. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm having the worst time with yawns today. Um, there's also a crafting grid that will let you monitor what you're crafting when we set auto crafting up it will there's also one for fluids and i think there's one for working with the patterns that go into uh auto crafting so there's a multitude of different things this is of course like i said the crafting grid so we can both access our inventory that is attached and we can craft things so this is where the speed comes into making items in this game especially in late tier uh these options are mostly for sorting and stuff uh this is saying, like, what do you want to display? Display, no craftables, only what I can craft. Normal, which is both. Uh, redstone mode, don't really care about, but you can say only work with redstone signal, only work without redstone signal, or just ignore it. For whatever reason, I guess you could use it as, like, a, a some sort of security lockout thing. Like, you'd have to send an anti-detection to you or something. I, I don't know. But it's it serves a purpose. Uh, this is the storing direction going from uh, top to bottom, so you got least amount at the top now most of the top which conveniently is iron uh, sorting type is quantity we could also sort by name ID number which is useful when you're trying to find stuff by mod grouping uh, or like a specific item ID 
and then of course quantity, and then the search button. This is really cool. So this works a lot like Applied Energistics 2, and I think one had this as well, but it will synchronize with JEI or in that time NEI. So whatever I type up in the top box appears automatically in this lower box, which is great when you want to be able to quickly craft stuff and you're trying to see whether you have items from that mod. So say we go Steve's carts. All of a sudden, all of my Steve's cart stuff is here, and if I had anything in the storage system that was from this mod, it would pop up as well. Super, super handy. But we want to make some stuff. Specifically, we need a wood cutting core, which I'm assuming will look like something with a lumber axe. Assembling, mm, that's all their upgrades. Well, there's a saw blade. We do need saw blades. So let's go ahead and make some saw blades. I don't know how many of these need, so why don't we make like make 12 but we need a woodcutter core crafting like there's so many options let's just look for wood crafting core then screw it or it's not crafting we want cutter woodcutter is this what I want Oh, basic wood cutter. Okay, it's somewhat what I want, a wood cutting core. There we go. So we're going to need an advanced PCB, which we're missing just the two smaller PCBs. Okay, here we go. Now we're on the right path. So we're going to make a couple of simple PCBs. We'll make our wood cutting core after we make this one. Now we can make the core. Ah, we're going to need some saplings. Okay. What do I have the most saplings of? Probably oak. So we're going to grab the oak tree. Conveniently, this will be what we're growing as well. Okay, there's our woodcutting core. And now I want to be able to make the basic woodcutting. Now, there are advanced woodcutters as well, which is like... Wow, that's unbreakable, really? That's interesting. Those are hardened, fine metal... So there's various different ways that you can do things, but we're going to go with the basic woodcutter for now. So there's our basic woodcutter. Uh, we can clear that out. Now, does this go into cores, tools? goes into tools. So that's our basic woodcutter. Now, what else we need? I have a list here. So we need... We have an engine, we need some storage, and that should be it. So we just need some storage for this guy. Now, that engine takes up what? Occupy the center and top sides. Okay, so we need something that occupies other things so that we can make this. So we go at Steve. There's a few different ones. There's side chests. Top chest we can't use. Front chest. Internal. We could try doing the internal. Let's try doing internal storage. Oh, we have none of that. <laughs> okay. So chest lock. So this is where you just start putting all of your stuff into the system because it, it just makes sense. So we're going to want chest lock. We want the chest things here. Not a lot of wood. This is why we're doing this, though, by the way. This is very much why we're doing this because we don't have a lot of wood. So I have neglected to make trees in a very long time. So you want the eternal one. I'm going to try the eternal one, and then we're going to try, I guess, the side ones. What are we missing still? We're missing, oh, a whole bunch. Okay. Okay, that should be what we want. No, what are we missing still? Oh, those ones, large. Okay, hold on. I thought they were the same ones as the other ones. Okay, there we go. All right, so we've got some side and some internals. So let's see what that does for us. Hopefully, hopefully. Oh, come on, don't do that to me. There we go. 
All right, let's see. Um, let's go to this thing, and we're going to say internal storage. And so let's see. Total cost is 71. I don't know what that means. Hull capacity, 50. Complexity. Ready to assemble cart. Okay. Can I put the side storage on? I can. So both the internal and the side worked, and we've got that guy. Okay, so let's assemble the cart. It could take about 15 minutes to go. Oh, this needs fuel? Does this need fuel? It must. I was wondering whether this was going to have a cost. Hey, there we go. All right, there it goes. It's going to take 15 minutes. All right, well then, I will see you guys when this is done building. Okay, so this thing should be, this should be built by now, right? It's been about 15 minutes. Hey, look at that. Modular cart, standard hull, basic solar engine, basic wood cutter, internal storage, side chests. So this guy has got everything we need in theory. Uh, we need rails. So I built a platform over here because I was looking up about where to arrange everything. And it says more or less build a 9x9 nine nine, and we're going to put the rails in the middle here is sort of what I'm going to do. Provide the lag doesn't kill me. But we're going to need rails. We need rails. Let's get all these sticks. We don't need that anymore. All those sticks can go in here. And we need to make rails. Thankfully, we don't have rail craft, So we have a very simple recipe. We want just some basic rails. And let's grab... Let's grab a whole stack. I don't think I'm going to need that many for what I want, but... Um, let's just go ahead. We're going to make a circle of these around the whole outside. So I think the idea is going to be that the trees will grow on this side of it. Or rather on either side. Ooh, no, that's not what I wanted. But I'm not really sure. Because I've never built one of these before. You guys are on for a... Uh, for a treat. Okay, so we're going to slot this guy down. That's going to open up. Look at that. Look at you go. So it's got the wood cutter repair. Oh, hey, come back here. Hmm. So I wonder then... How do I build? Let's just grab some trees and see what happens then. Because I can't, can't grow them. Oh, we're gonna, let's grab some bone meal. The lag spikes are bad. The lag spikes are bad. I'm going to have to do something about that sooner rather than later. Okay. Okay, so I grew a tree. Let's see what happens. This guy's gonna come along. Hey! He hit the tree, though. Out of power. So maybe a solar engine's a poor choice. Oh no, look at that. There it goes. Okay. Okay, so maybe is there battery? Well, let's go at Steve's carts. Because maybe we need to put like a battery or something on it. Hmm. Hydrator, basic wood cutter. No. What about railer? No, cleaning, cleaning machine? Brake, advanced control systems. Tiny coal engine. We might need to go to a coal engine. I don't want to, though. Hmm. External detergent. Okay. Well, I mean, it kind of works. 
Now these are very, very short. I don't like how short they are. And I don't like that this just drops on power. So what I think I'm going to do is let's, well, let's take this out. Why don't I see... Okay, hold on. Let's get rid of that for a hot minute. Let's open those up. What if I did it so that our carts... I wonder how much range this has. And whether or not it needs to be directly beside it or not. Let's, uh... Let's experiment here. Okay, you come with me. Let's experiment, because if that's the case, and I need to do... Because it's it's no good to us if we can't let this run automatically, it's going to get stopped. I might have to make one with a coal engine, which again, it's not terrible. I would just prefer not to have to run off coal. We have a ton of coal, though. And it could probably also use charcoal, then. Which we could automatically create using using this. But let's see what we got here. What are you doing, Drew? Okay. So let's put our bad boy down. So it's not going to get interfered with here. Let's see if it will grow there. Interesting, that still stops it. Okay, so we're definitely going to need something other than a solar engine then. Because the basic solar engine just is not going to cut it. AC just automatically goes, oh, oh, okay, so it made it that time. But that is too far for it to grab. Okay, good to know. Alright, so I need to go back to the drawing board with this clearly and figure out how this works. But we made a good... I'll say we made a good first attempt at it. The last thing I want to do, I'll, I'll, I'll worry about this at a later date then. And work on it between episodes. What I want to do is I want to automate those. So for that, what is that going to take? I want farming stations. Because we can maybe get started on this. I think they need Z-Logic controllers, though. I do. So I need some zombie heads. And the best way to get heads is using some Tinker's Contract stuff and a few other things. So what I'm going to do is, against my better judgment, I'm going to kill me some zombies at some point. So that's, again, another thing I guess I'll worry about between episodes. But uh, I guess we'll call that one there, guys. If you liked it, you know what to do. You can go ahead and leave a like. I'm really happy with where we're at. Uh, I, I'm starting to understand the Steve's Cards thing. Starting to get a handle on it. Hopefully I can get this working and automated between episodes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to work on our resource machine because this is, this is like untenable, man. we got to fix this lag. Um, or at the very least, see if I can isolate exactly what it is. Because if it is what I think, then that will make it easier to fix later. Uh, other than that, guys, like I said, you can find other stuff I've done in the description box below. And, of course, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye!